Ashley with Amare. So let's let's talk about something. Um, and I guess I get this question a lot. Do you think plastic surgery is a bad thing? Um, let's start here. Just because I'm in the profession doesn't mean I think it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's something that can be useful. Um, depending on the way that you use it, it can be good or bad. So let's talk about the good part of it first. So plastic surgery is not always cosmetic. There are a lot of people, let's go to the extreme. You get into a car accident and it completely messes up your whole face. Well, you get your face redone and you get your life back. That's plastic surgery. You have breast cancer and they have to remove the whole thing. You get a reconstruction, you get an implant. That's plastic surgery. You have a deviated septum and you can't breathe and you've never been able to breathe. So you get a nose job, which is basically them just breaking your nose, putting everything back in place. Maybe while they're in there, they do a little cosmetic work and shave a little bit or do something to make, you know, the structure a little different. That's plastic surgery. Now, odd cases, extreme cases. I had a client who had three tumors in her stomach and needed to get them removed. So she went to a surgeon who's a good friend of hers in DR. And while they went in and took out the tumors, they gave her lipo and a tummy tuck. That's plastic surgery. Um, a lot, a lot of people who get tummy tucks, it's because after their third kid or they have a hernia that they need repaired or they have distension where their abs are separating and they need to get all of that tightened back up, that's plastic surgery. But again, just because there is a cosmetic aspect doesn't mean it's not medically necessary. It absolutely is medically necessary. If you have separation like that, your organs literally do not have a good place to sit. And they're constantly getting pressure put on them because there's nothing holding them together. So they're being pushed out all the time. Anytime you lift or strain anything, it's going to put pressure on your organs in that area. Again, that's plastic surgery. A C-section is surgery. Can it be cosmetic? Can it be plastic? If they're doing a little bit of skin removal? Yeah, it can be. So no, plastic surgery is not a bad thing. Just because it's called plastic surgery does not mean it's a bad thing. Um, injectables are not a bad thing. Again, facial issues from a car accident. Okay, so injectables, there, there are injectables like Sculptra that can be put into your glutes to fill you out um, and give you a little bit of like shaking. Um, but they can also be used for like Botox for TMJ, um, Botox for overactive muscles, things like that. That's again, not cosmetic. That's covered by insurance sometimes. That's medically necessary. So it's not all bad. Just because what you see on Instagram and you know, all the stuff in the world says, oh, plastic surgery addiction, blah, 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 blah. Yes, that part of it can be bad. Getting addicted to plastic surgery is getting addicted to the pain pills, getting addicted to the attention that you get after and before and during the surgery, getting addicted to, you know, your body changing. But there are some people like bariatric weight loss people that need bariatric surgery and they get a sleeve or something put in and then they've got all this extra skin everywhere. Yeah, you're going to need a couple rounds. You're going to need the tummy tuck for the skin removal. You're going to need an arm lift, a thigh lift, maybe some skin removed in the back because eventually what's going to happen is that stuff is going to become a problem for your body. Not just the way that it looks, but it's actually going to become like dead tissue if it's that much. It's going to take a toll. So that again is something that's medically necessary. 85% of what we deal with is medically necessary. Yes, you have people who come in with a BBL. Yes, you have people who come in for, you know, the lipo, tummy tuck, breast lift, all of that stuff. Yes, we do have those patients. But a lot of it is, I had a hernia. I had three kids. I had weight loss surgery. I had, you know something wrong with my body that I needed to get surgery for and I did a little bit here and a little bit there too because I was under and I could. So guys, a lot of it is not evil. Plastic surgery is not a bad thing. And now let's get away from the extremes. What if you just don't like the way you look? What if you've tried to work out for years and it still hasn't changed anything? What if you just want to do something for yourself? Like again, something minor like fillers or Botox or injectables or something like that. What if you just want to do something for you? You had three kids. They destroyed your body. You've been a mom. You've done all this stuff for everyone else. Why don't you do something for you? It's not a bad thing. Now, here's where people feel like it's a bad thing. When you've gone after surgery, like two weeks with no support, no massages, not a proper garment, you're building up fibrosis, things are starting to look and feel like they shouldn't look and feel, and you're getting the post-op blues, which is where you're like, why did I do this? What did I do to my body? Oh, the drama. Oh, the horror. Oh, the shame. Again, guys, 
it's not as crazy as you think it is. You're just lost in the woods and alone because nobody knows what you're going through. And what makes it even worse is if you don't have a good support system at home, if you haven't told anyone or your spouse or someone in your family is like, I told you you shouldn't have gotten that done. It's the worst thing you ever did. Mar, 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 mar. Guys, it's not about them. It's about you. It is 110% about you. It is about you being comfortable in your body, you being comfortable in your skin, you loving the way you look and feel. And just because at this moment in time you're lost and have no direction and have no guidance and don't have proper garments and don't have proper care and your wounds don't look right and you're feeling down because you're in pain and it just doesn't, it's not what you wanted it to be, that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You can still have a virtual with me and we'll find a way to fix it. Even if you're not in New Jersey, come in and get your sessions done. Come in and we'll fit you for a faha. We'll put you in your foams. We'll do what we need to do to get you back on track. Now, this can be two weeks out. This could be two years out. I know people who've had plastic surgery two to five years after and still hate the way they look. And they're like, oh, my doctor said I need a revision or I'm just going to go for round two. Well, you can do that, but you're going to wind up right in the same spot that you were to begin with, which is in the same pattern of I hate the way I look. This isn't what I wanted. I'm still not happy, blah, 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 because you didn't take care of it afterwards. You didn't get it to that complete part where you have no swelling anymore and you see your full results. But again, it's not as hard as everybody thinks. And a lot of people say, I regret my surgery afterwards. And a lot of people say, plastic surgery is the worst thing that I did because you never really finished it. You never really got to the other side. You never really completed it. And it was never really something that you were like, yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be great. It's kind of something where you were like, in the beginning, I can't wait to get this done. I can't wait to have this off of me. I can't wait to look great. And then towards the middle of your healing, you were like, oh, this doesn't really look right. And then you just settled then you didn't really finish it. And it didn't really get to a place where you were like, oh, okay, I love the way I look. You're kind of just like, all right. And this, this is something I hear all the time. Well, I kind of look like I did before the surgery, so I guess that's okay. Guys, you just paid how many thousands of dollars? That is not okay. That is so not okay. Like, no, not okay. You should love the way you look afterwards. And if you don't love the way you look, call us. Set up a virtual consult. There's got to be something going on. Because if you had a chunk of you taken out, it shouldn't be there anymore. And it shouldn't look like that. It should be gone. And you should look skinnier. And you should look better. And things should be where you want them to be, like you and your doctor talked about. And if that is not the case, you have to find a support system. You have to call us. You have to find help somehow. Even if you go back to your doctor, which they love to do, and go, oh, you'll look fine in a year. Oh, you'll look fine in six months. Oh, you know, let's let's wait. Let's wait a year and then we'll we'll talk about a revision and getting you under the knife again. No. No, no, no. That is not an answer. That is not how that works. Again, plastic surgery is not a bad thing. This journey that you're on to getting a better you and a better body and loving the way that you look, that's not a bad thing. Whether that be injectables, whether it be lipo, BBL, tummy tuck, breast lift, implants, whatever it is, that's not a bad thing and it is okay to do something like this and call it self-care. Guys, this is the most extreme version of self-care. You are literally getting your body back to being the way that you want it. Lipo is not a bad thing. Taking out excess fat is not a bad thing. Neither is a tummy tuck. That's skin removal. Neither is a breast lift. That's skin removal. Neither is implants. Like none of these things are bad. What makes it bad is when you're not happy with it. What makes it bad is when you regret it because you neglect it and don't take care of it. That's what makes it bad. What makes it bad is when you keep going back for three and four and five surgeries because you don't like the way you look and you forgot why you even started this journey in the first place. I know tons of moms who get lipo done, who get a tummy tuck done, who get a BBL done and are so much happier and love the way they look and are so grateful that they ever did it. Yes, it's a journey. Yes, it requires work. Yes, it's time consuming. And yes, it can be very expensive if you don't do it properly, especially if you're not doing it with us. It can be a lot. But again, you're supposed to be in this to love the way you look. Let's not lose sight of the end game here, which is to get that body that you want. And we can get that without going to the extremes and using rollers and cutting you open and doing all this crazy crap. That's not how that works. So again, plastic surgery is not evil. Your doctor is not evil. All these people, these influencers and all the, the Kardashians and, and everybody out there, 
it's not a bad thing. It's been demonized by people who haven't taken care of themselves after surgery. It's been demonized by people who get so much Botox, their face doesn't move because they're not happy with themselves to begin with. So if you are doing this for the right reasons, which is health reasons, which is self-care and self-love reasons, which is getting your body back to the way that you want it to be and the way that you love it, it's not a bad thing. And again, I'm not just saying this because I'm a professional in the field. I have told people, you don't need surgery. I have told people, you don't need to be doing any more Botox or fillers. I've told people, hey, um, did you really need the surgery to begin with? Like, do you think, like, we can still heal you and that's fine, but do you think maybe you jumped the gun on it a little bit and you should have waited, like, until you had your second or third kid before you did it? Like, again, it, it's not a bad thing, and it's not a bad thing to want it either, but you have to do it properly. It's a bad thing when you rush into it, you don't know what you're doing, and then you scramble into our office, and you're mad at us because we don't have the availability because you waited until, you know, three weeks after your surgery to call us, and now you're still in pain and your incisions are ripping open and you can't get an appointment. That's a bad thing. And don't come yelling at us for that because you waited too long and you weren't informed. We've got enough videos and enough material out there. You should have been able to find us. I mean, everybody else has. But again, that's when it's a bad thing. That's when you start regretting it. That's when you start having issues is when you're not taking it seriously, when you're not informed, when you're having too much salt because you're not taking your diet seriously, when you're not using it as self-care. Plastic surgery should be used as self-care care. It should be used to jumpstart your lifestyle. It should be used to change your diet. Like I said, with my weight loss patients or cancer recovery patients, or even the moms that have ab distension and want to remove the skin. It's a great, great thing. We've made such amazing advancements in the plastic surgery field, even in the just the last couple of years. It is so much safer. It's so much smoother. The results are so much better. And it's so quick if you do it properly. But again, don't evil and demonize plastic surgery just because you're upset about your surgery. That's not how that works. And again, if you're feeling guilty or if you're feeling like, I don't know if I should really be doing this to my body, weigh your options. Is it really something you want to do? Because if you really want to do it, it will end up turning out wonderfully because you'll come to the massage sessions, you'll get the aftercare, you'll set up your post-op with me, you'll get the care that you need, you'll follow it through to the end, you'll take care of it to the best of your ability. guys. If you want a Mercedes, right? If you want a brand new Mercedes and you spend the money to buy that brand new Mercedes, you're gonna make sure you're getting it clean once a week. You're gonna make sure you have good insurance. You're gonna make sure you're parking it in a garage. You're going to take care of it. Please treat your surgery the same. Treat your body the same. Even after you've healed, don't go back to eating Fritos on the couch with the kids. Go, go take care of yourself. Try having hummus instead. Try having pita chips instead. Like, start taking care of things before they start getting bad with your surgery. Make sure that you're keeping up with these things. Treat your surgery like a gift to yourself because that's what it should be and you will never regret it and you will never have problems and you will forever love the way you look because you're taking care of it. But again, plastic surgery is not evil. None of these things are bad. Nothing about plastic surgery is bad or wrong as long as you're taking care of it. So guys, that is the end of my spiel. That is all I have to say. I hope this helped. I hope you have a great day. I hope you take care of yourselves and I will see you guys soon. Bye.